Like I'm drawn more towards like the idea of colors, um, palettes, uh, the pairing and combos of certain colors, tints, tones. Uh, I feel like all of that put together, like color alone can bring about messages of like emotions or um, just like the vibes you want to give people when putting it into a piece itself. Oh yeah, color is definitely a big thing for me. You would just say your name. Well, yeah. My name is uh, Amy Bruce. I'm a local artist and muralist. So dealing with like the first pieces of art, they're mostly anonymous due to the nature of how they're created. Um, but yeah, a lot of it came into like just really marking up tagging areas um, with my friends. Like I remember spending school days just like sitting in class and be like, hey, wouldn't that be cool on that one wall? And be like, yeah. And then, so it's all these crazy drawings like eventually showed up somewhere um, or in someone's garage somewhere. <laughs> One person that really like got me into art uh, would definitely be my friend Richard, Richard Armitage. He's a local artist here. Um, back in high school, he was like my main friend where like, he was like, hey, I'm taking art. You wanna snag that class? We'll hang out and be like, yeah, for sure, all right. He was some kind of savant. Like he'd just touch a thing and it'd be like, oh my gosh, everyone was like about it. Just kind of seeing that, I'm like, wow, he's really excelling. I'm like, what if I like actually tried and like did something and got to his level or at least close? Like that, that kind of like spurred on like the spark to be like, you know what, I could do more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the art I do, it's a lot of it's commission work. So like every now and then I get a chance to work on something I'm about. When it's like just me alone in the studio working with what I got and I'm like, well, what would I like to create? I feel like a lot of my own personal art it just eventually keeps going back to these ideas of ephemerality. Um, you know, especially with the living world, the planet we live on, um, how things are always changing, nothing's like permanent. And a lot of my artwork, it deals a lot with like these bright and wonderful colors that, you know, I'm like, oh, I love this like combo. This is so great, that palette. But then also like ideas of like decaying and death. So a lot of like rotting foliage I love to include or even like, uh, skulls or like the anatomy like inner workings of like living animals and stuff like that like <laughs> seeing like roadkill on the side of the road i'm like wow it's really inspiring like everything could just change in an instant you got to be on your toes I started doing a lot of this large scale like mural work uh, as soon as I graduated from ODU. Uh, first project was with uh, City of Norfolk, working with high schoolers. That was that was different, but it was it was just eye opening. And from there, I wanted more walls. I'm currently in love with the mural I did on 21st in Atlantic, over in Oceanfront, Virginia Beach. Uh, it's with the hands. That one was a collaborative piece with uh, Rose Marie. Spracklin, she's also a local artist, badass babe for sure. Um, that one was for the Samaritan House, uh, a lot of like bringing awareness on domestic violence. So it was, it's a very pretty piece being on a bright yellow wall. I love doing art because it gives me the freedom to just do whatever I want. Depending on the location or the atmosphere, the vibes, the people you meet in that area, I really want to like represent the local community in that sense. But I hope eventually with like a lot of these murals popping up, I'll get more opportunities to do ones that, you know, have messages behind them to really bring awareness to certain issues that I feel like a lot of people are dealing with within the country. So I feel like my main motivation when it comes to making art and doing what I do and pushing for being more full-time in what I do at the city and like 
my local area, um, just to keep trying and to like to keep applying to things, cr be creative in any kind of way. Um, and if def something doesn't really serve me, then just to be able to move on from it. Um, yeah, no. Creating art every day, like my main focus is like, I don't want to be unhappy. Like I want to be stoked most of the time. <laughs> What might be your favorite story? <laughs> oh man, so I feel like every now and then I go back to Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. Foxes are my favorite animal, but also the main character himself, you know. He survives and he takes care of his family for doing what he knows how to do best, and that's stealing from local farmers. His story also relates to the idea of needing to adapt. So eventually, you know the story, the, the farmers, they figure it out, and you're like, you know what? Let's just wait outside his home and then shoot him. The ending of the story is him doing something slightly different or out of his comfort zone that he's not used to, but it, in the end, it, it saves everyone, his friends and his family. I like that idea of being the underdog and being able to triumph over, you know, the, the pushback, so to say, um, to keep doing what you love and what you know. Oh yeah. There's always a room to like learn from things, to learn from people. Definitely have to be like open-minded, especially in this field. Um, you're gonna meet a lot of people. They're so set in their ways. They're like, "This, I've been doing it for years like this. I'm just gonna stay like that. And you're like, but can you really? I don't, being able to adapt is definitely one of the most important things I think is like just moving forward. That's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very good. All right. That's it. Word. Thank you.